Hello everyone, this is Andrew again and now we're going to discuss the basic PLC programming for beginner. Before starting uh, PLC programming, we need to know how does PLC works. Now let's start. The relationship between PLC hardware and PLC program. How does PLC work? First, the PLC scans the changes on the input. Process the given input using the program inside the PLC. Then, change the value of the PLC output based on the result of the process. And, it will go back to the first step, scan the changes in PLC input. Then, process given input using PLC program. Then, change the given output again. And that's the cycle of uh, how PLC works. Let's have our example. Example 1. Even if we do nothing on our PLC, it still scan the input. Then, process the input. And change the value of the output based on the result of the process. And that's how it works. But now, let's try to close the switch. The current will flow. That will make the X0 to be energized or triggered. Then, after the PLC scans the input, it will process that data. And because X0 is energized, it will update the program. And based on this program, by energizing x0 it will allow y0 to energize also and now change the value of the output based on the result of the process here the result of the process in our plc program is activating y0 okay that will close the relay and that will allow the current to flow from our power supply to the common of the PLC and it will allow the current to come out to Y0 okay now PLC scans input again and let's say let's open the switch now and that will make X0 to be deactivated then process that uh, input because X0 is not activated anymore, the program will uh, turn off X0 and that will cause Y0 to turn off also. Then, change the output based on the result of the process. And because Y0 is now deactivated, the lamp will turn off. Let's have our example 2. Here in our example 2, as you can see in our program, there are two x zeros. We have x0 which is normally open and uh, we have another x0 which is normally closed. And because we have a normally closed x0 here, that will allow y0 to turn on initially. That's why our lamp here is initially turned on. Now, let's try to scan the PLC input. Let's try to close the switch. That will make the X0 to be energized. And because X0 is now energized, it, it will process the given input using the program. And all of your contact on your program, which has an address of X0, will change. If your contact is normally open, it will close. And if your contact is normally closed, it will open. And this situation will now make Y0 turn on and Y1 turn off. The output will change based on the result. And the result of the processing is uh, 
to make Y0 turn on and to make Y1 turn off. Okay, that's it. Now we have our third example. And I want you to observe the input switches and uh, observe the output relay as we go on on our lesson. Now scanning the PLC input. As you can see, the switch at X0 is now closed. Now X0 is energized. And that input will be processed. And now all the X0 on our program will be turned on. And this will cause all the Y to turn on also. Then change the value of the output based on the result of the process. Because of this, the relay Y0, Y1, and Y2 will be closed. That will allow all the lamp to turn on. Then, PLC input will be scanned again. And now, let's try to close X2. That will energize X2. Then process the changes in our input. Because X2 is energized, we need to turn on X2 on our program. And turning on X2 on our program will cause nothing on our output. Then, scanning the PLC input again. Let's try to close X1. And X1 is now energized. Now, let's process the update on our input. Our input X0, X1, and X2 is now energized. And that will cause X1 to energize here. All X1 on our program will change. If our X1 is normally closed, it will become open. And if our X1 is normally open, it will close. And that will cause the Y0 and Y1 to turn off. But Y2 will still remain on. And now, we're going to update the output of the PLC. Y0 and Y1 will turn off, that will cause two of the lamp to turn off also. The PLC is now scanning on the input again. Let's try to open X0 and open X1. That will cause X0 and X1 to turn off. Now, given the current status of our input, X0 will turn off and the uh, X1 will turn off also. And these changes will cause Y0 to remain turn off, Y1 to turn on, and Y2 to turn off. Now, we're going to update the status of the output. Then that will cause one of the lamp to turn on and the other lamp to turn off. Okay, that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube video. Please like my Facebook page and uh, please click see first on the Facebook to notify you for new posts. Thank you for uh, watching this video again and uh, I hope you learn a lot. Thank you.